Hey, what's up guys? I um, hope you're having a good day. In this video, I'll show you how to revert your USB back to a normal state from a bootable state. Uh, so if you used your USB in the past to uh, uh, make it bootable to run an OS on one of your computers, uh, you might, might know that you won't be able to use it as a normal USB again. So how do you revert it back to a normal USB when you don't need to use it as a bootable device anymore? Uh, let me show you what I mean. I'll open the Explorer and I'll insert my USB drive here. And here we go. So I've got my USB drive here, which has a Windows OS on it. I, I, there is uh, no need uh, uh, for it anymore, and I want it to be used as a normal USB drive. But I can't because of the um, because it's a bootable drive. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to go into Command Prompt. So we're going to go into command so you want to go there and you just want to type cmd and it should open up command prompt and once it's there we need to open the disk part uh, utility so you're going to type in disk part all in one word oh sorry i typed it wrong disk part here we go it, windows is going to ask you for permission now that depends on your windows version as far as i know on windows 8 it doesn't even ask you for that and it would just open up the disk part, whereas on Windows 10, it would open up a new uh, window for that. So what we need to do here is we need to um, type in list disk. So, so as you can see here, we got a few different drives here. Uh, so that's my main hard drive, disk zero. Uh, and then I'm, I'm, I've got a memory card in there. Um, I've got to sort that out actually. And this is my USB drive, uh, 7633 MBs. Uh, and that's disk 2. So we need to select that disk now. I'm going to type in oh. Select space disk. Oh, oh God, what's happening with my typing today? Disk, and we're going to type 2. There we go. And it's going to say disk 2 is now selected. And then we're going to type in clean. So now it's going to take uh, a little bit of time to do that. Uh, so we need to wait. Uh, oh, hang on, it's already done it. This part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Pretty cool. So now we're going to type in the new command S create partition primary. And press enter. So that's created a new partition now. We're going to say active. Uh, that's active and now we're going to format it gonna format fs equals 32 quick so now it's going to start the uh, the process there oh, going up. all right so it's 100% successfully formatted and now we're going to type in assign all right, so that's all assigned, and looks like we're good. We're going to type an exit. So we're going to exit the whole thing. And now, if you can see here, we have got a drive that's, uh, you know, right there. And if we open it up, and oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. This PC. And we click on properties. And here we go. So it says use space 16 KBs, free space. Uh, well, around seven and a half GB. Um, there's another way you can check it if you go into uh, computer management. We've got to go into disk management after that. Come on, Come on computer management. Oh, here you go. So we go into disk management. This is running a bit slow today. And here we go. It says healthy and active. And um, yeah, it looks like it's all good. And I'm just going to test it on Rufus. And there we go. Because I should have shown you, shown you that before. It wasn't showing on Rufus. Because um, uh, if it's already bootable, Rufus won't detect it. So there you go. It's all good. This is how you you know, clean and uh, make your USB uh, normal again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. It's black and white.